going on? What's going on, everybody? Hope everyone is having a great day. Um, you know, as we dive into this evening, wanted to go over um, the latest news that happened uh, earlier. Um, so Trump was giving a speech. Uh, and I believe it was in PA. Yeah, he was doing a speech in PA, uh, a little rally. And um, he had an attempt on his life. Um, there was a few shots at him. It looked like something hit his ear. I seen him holding his ear. And so it looked like, uh, I don't know if a fragment hit it or what, but yeah, I'm just going to uh, show you how this right here. And you, you, you be the judge. You let me know what you see. The folks here are now evacuating a lot of into his parents here in Butler, uh, Pennsylvania. So far, we're safe. our crew is safe. We have not seen anyone uh, injured. We have not heard of anyone injured yet, but certainly uh, unexpected, uh, confusing, and we are still waiting to find out what exactly transpired here. Jose. I just want to put out there, there's so much controversy around Trump right now. Right. In the amount of years I've been on God's green earth, I'd never seen anyone, whether it be media, politicians, uh, whatever vein you in, man, I'd never seen them come at one man the way they do Trump. It's almost like you would think he's the only person ever to do anything wrong or as hideous or as uh, uh, unforgivable or whatever the case may be. And um, one thing about growing up, you're, you're taught to vote for the lesser of the two evils, right? So what that's doing is, is acclimating you to be uh, to be aware that you're not getting nothing perfect. You are going to have evil in every candidate. That's what I always took from that, right? Why does it even have to be that way to begin with? Somebody answer that for me. Anyway, nevertheless. They're going so hard to get this man to not run for president. So hard. And I know for a fact that um, things in America are not looking good. You know, when you look at different cities that they're busing in the, um, the migrants from these different countries, things of that nature, right? You know, giving them a place to stay, giving them food, giving them clothes and everything like that. And yet, we still have a problem here that we need to take care of. You know, growing up, I was always taught there, you know, there was priorities. You know what I mean? You can't help others until you help yourself. So we shouldn't really be helping other countries until we can help our own country. We got veterans that getting out of the service that can't even get proper medical care. You know, we got uh, a big problem with homeless people on the streets, you know. Um, so 
I say that to say this. We have so much on our own front to have to worry about, but yet we're ignoring home base and we're entertaining, you know, the outside world. So anything out of the United States is what I'm saying. So now speed it up since um so we already know when Trump was in office, he was talking about building a wall. Uh, I remember, you know, people would say it was a ridiculous thing. Why would you do that? There's people fleeing to get away from their country and the bad living. I get all that stuff. I get that, right? I do. But here's where it works against us. They're allowing gang members, right? I'm not, I'm not gonna say they're, they're, whether they know or not, gang members are clearly getting in um, through these these ports and um, you know uh, destinations into the country. What they're doing is they're going into these cities across America and they're wreaking havoc, the same havoc you would see um, in their own countries, but they're bringing it here. I'm sure you turned on the, I, I know you guys seen this. You turn on the news, you hear about people sitting down outside to eat, you know, nice high-end restaurant. And you got people pulling up to you with weapons in hand, talking about give me your money and your cell phone. Everybody that was in a 10 to 15 mile radius, they said that they've been having problems on the streets with these migrants that come over here on those mopeds, stealing purses, wallets, cell phones I mean Biden is not addressing any of this stuff and this is very important this is like a state of emergency this is a move that can overthrow the country they're they're getting in the shootouts with police officers they're jumping police officers you know, so I say I say that to say this that that is could be looked at as like an act of war. You know, just because it's disturbing what we already had. We was already a mess, but we was working on it, right? This is just gonna topple everything over you do a mess with even a bigger mess on top of that mess so now it's going to be hard for us to get down to the nitty-gritty to why this even started to even figure this out we're that much further away to get into where we need to be and come into an understanding on um unity is the best thing for us. Having unity, we won't get nowhere without unity. And that's a fact. And uh, so we want to go back to that, that video because, as you indeed stated, it does seem as though what appears to sound like shots, a number of them did ring out. And the former president clutched his right. Afterwards, you can see uh, the his ear, blood in his ear, and there's some on his cheeks. But he is 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 a blood coming from his right ear. He was conscious the entire time. Still.
That's bogus, though, man. Why is Trump such a threat that they want to kill him and make sure that he doesn't run for office? He would be the next best president to have that much hate towards him since Kennedy. You can say all these other presidents, right? They had this so-called attempt on their on. Well, we can't even say really attempt. We can say uh, uh, a chance to be assaulted. You know, at, attempt assault. But we wasn't hearing about nobody firing shots and actually drawing blood. That's how you know this right here is a little more serious than you think. Let me know when I'm wrong. The amount of people that are against that man that I know when he was in office, he ran the country like a business. Because let's keep it a band. United States of America is a business. United States of America, Inc. Everything is done, negotiations, lobbying. It's a business, you know? Quid pro quo. I'll give you something for something. Favor for favor. So y'all tell me, what does this mean for President Trump? Do you think there will be more attempts on his life? Do you think that uh, security will start tightening up even more after this incident? Um, let me know. Um, at the end of the day, I wanted to go back to just democracy as we know it, right? You vote for your candidate, you get them in, and um, hopefully, hope they do well, right? I just wanted to go back to that. Once you start drawing blood, you know, it, it, it becomes very serious. And that's what really is really make me look at this. It's crazy. You name me one president that ever got this much hate in the last 40 years. You give me a president that ever got blood drawn in the last 40 years. I'll wait. I don't know. It's looking suspicious, yo. What are they trying to stop this man from really being able to do? This is an act of, of, of fear. It's almost as if there is a business that he's interrupting. And they need him out the way. This may not be, look, this is just my thoughts and my thoughts only. All right. But just what if? What if this man was going to disrupt something that's been in place for very long, a system that that's bigger than us. A system that actually points out what happens, how we live in the state of our well-being. What if? 
things that make you go, hmm. But yo, this is um, Soul Sounds. Just trying to vibe with y'all for a little bit. See what you think. Um, feel free to leave a comment. You know, in the comment section. Let me know what you feel about the situation and how the state of America could be looking going forward. 